Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi dalam video kali ini Kita nak buat lagi beberapa soalan Dalam chapter 9 Dan jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali Jadi dalam video kali ini Kita akan buatlah beberapa soalan Berkaitan dengan chapter 9 Jom kita mula Alright, now example number 3. So here we have an object of mass 400 gram. Okay, so now let's take out all the information. Okay, so we have M is equal to 400 gram which is equal to 0 0.4 kg. Okay, is attached to a spring with a spring constant. K is given 5 newton per meter. Okay. The object is set into simple harmonic motion with amplitude 6 cm. Sorry, 6 mm. Okay. So, the amplitude is equal to 6 times 10 power of negative 3 m. So, calculate the period, the maximum acceleration, the maximum kinetic energy of the object and the potential energy when the displacement is 4 mm. Okay. So, let's try to solve the first question. Okay, A. A1. So, we want to calculate T. So, remember, okay, the equation of period, okay, for the spring, the oscillation of the spring T is equal to 2 pi square root M over K. Okay, uh, kalau the oscillation of simple pendulum with the string, okay, T is equal to 2 pi square root L over G. Okay. Ha, so, untuk soalan ni, kita akan guna yang ini. Okay. Untuk kita cari T lah. Okay. So, you can substitute all the values. So, 2 pi. Make sure mass in kg. Which is 0 0.4. Sebab K kita dalam Newton per meter. So, make sure mass mesti dalam kg. Okay. So, K is equal to 5. So, T is equal to 1.78 second. Okay. So, dapat jawapan. Okay. And then, second, the maximum acceleration. So, remember that general equation of acceleration is equal to negative A omega squared sine omega T. Okay. Where for the maximum acceleration, it is equal to A omega squared. Okay, so we can write A maximum is equal to A omega squared. Okay, so A kita dah ada 6 times 10 power of negative 3 and omega is equal to 2 pi over T. So 2 pi, kita tulis kat sini lah, 2 pi over T. T kita dah dapat tadi 1.78. Jangan lupa squared, omega squared. Okay. Finally, you will get A maximum is equal to 0 0.075 meter per second squared. Okay, so this is the answer. And number three. Okay, so calculate the maximum kinetic energy K. Okay, kinetic energy is maximum at equilibrium position. Always remember that kinetic energy is maximum at x equal to 0 and kinetic energy is equal to 0 at x equal to positive A or negative A amplitude. Boleh eh? So, K maximum, okay, equation untuk kinetic energy equal to half mv squared. Betul, itu adalah general equation. Tapi, tengok balik nota awak how to simplify the equation in terms of K dan A. So, you akan dapat K maximum is equal to half K A squared. Okay. So, we can substitute all the values. K kita dah ada 5. A adalah 6 times 10 power of negative 3 squared. So, kinetic energy you akan dapat 9 times 10 power of negative 5 joule. 
Okay, so this is the answer. And the last one, how to calculate the potential energy when the displacement is 4 millimeter. Okay, so we want to calculate U. Okay, and it is equal to half kx squared. Okay, so kita dah dapat dekat soalan ni, dia kata 4 millimeter. So you masukkanlah nilai U is equal to half k is equal to 5 and x is equal to 4 times 10 power of negative 3 squared. Okay. So you, you akan dapat nilai dia adalah uh, 4 times 10 power of negative 5 joule. Okay. So make sure uh, you tahulah. Okay. Maklumat apa yang kita ada dan formula apa yang kita nak pakai. Okay. So ini adalah. So saya highlightkan semua equation. Okay. Alright. So, finish part A. So, part B. Okay. So, part B, we have a particle move in simple harmonic motion of amplitude 18 centimeter. It completes 20 oscillations in 4 seconds. Okay. So, dia bagi uh, time taken to complete 20 oscillations. Okay. So, kalau 20 oscillations equal to 4 second. So, one oscillation bersamaan dengan berapa? Alright, so let's read the question. What is the angular frequency of simple harmonic motion? So, we want to calculate the omega. And then, okay. Uh, kita boleh juga ni. Tulis kat bawah ni. Okay, saya padam yang ini. Okay. So, for B, 1. So, we can calculate omega. Alright. But omega is equal to 2 pi over t. So, kita kena cari dulu what is the period of the oscillation. Okay. So, kalau kita tahu tadi soalan dah bagi 20 oscillations is equal to 4 seconds. Therefore, 1 oscillations is equal to uh, berapa? Uh, kita boleh kira kan? Kalau 20 oscillation 4 second. So, 1 oscillation bersamaan dengan 4 over 20 lah. Okay. So, one oscillation should be equal to 0 0.2 seconds. Okay. Therefore, T is equal to 0 0.2 seconds. Okay. So, we can substitute in this equation in order to find the angular frequency. So, finally, omega is equal to 31.42 ataupun kita boleh tulis sebagai 10. 10 pi radian. Okay, radian per second pun boleh lah. Okay, or it's equal to 31.42 radian per second. Okay, alright. So, B, B2. If at time T is equal to 0 second, the particle is at the maximum positive displacement. Okay, ha, kalau saya ada, kita sketch kita punya position of the object ataupun particle. So, this is equilibrium position and let's say this is positive A and this is negative A. Okay. So, let's say kita ada spring. Okay. Let's say this is the position. Alright. So, at T is equal to 0 seconds. Okay. So, the mass ataupun the particle is at positive A here. Okay. So, kita boleh sketch kita punya graph. Okay, we want to find the displacement. Tapi sebelum kita cari displacement X at T equal to 0 0.05 second and 0 0.12 seconds, we need to uh, write the equation of the displacement in function of time. Okay, so kalau saya sketchkan graph saya dekat sini. Okay, X against T graph. Okay. So, here we have centimeter. So, given that the amplitude is 18 centimeter, yes, alright, but at t is equal to 0 second here, okay, the graph should start at positive a here, which is 18 and this is negative 18. So, dia mula daripada sini, dia turun bawah, okay, and then dia naik ke atas. Okay. So, dekat sini saya tahu tadi uh, the period is 0.2 second. 
Okay. So, bila saya sketch graph at t is equal to 0 second, okay, the position of the particle is at positive a. Soalan dah bagi tahu. Okay, at t is equal to 0 second, the particle is at the maximum positive displacement. Kalau dia kata maximum negative displacement, okay, kita mesti mula daripada bawah sini. Boleh eh? Okay, so daripada graph ini, automatically, saya nampak pattern of this graph is actually cosine graph. So, saya boleh tulis equation A cos omega t. Sebab ini adalah graph cos. Kita semua tahu, ini adalah pattern of cosine graph. So, saya boleh tulis x equal to A kita adalah, amplitude dia dah bagi tadi, 18 cm cos Okay, omega kita dapat 10 pi t. So, ini equation saya. Okay, so bila kita dah dapat equation, boleh tak kita nak jawab soalan dia? Find the displacement x at time t equal to 0.05 second and 0.12 seconds. Boleh. Okay, so kita boleh tulis dekat sini lah. At t is equal to 0.05 seconds, x equal to... 18 cos, make sure your calculator in radian mode. Alright, 10 pi times 0 0.05. Substitute kan ini nilai dia. Okay, T. T kat sini, gantikan. Okay, you tekan calculator elok-elok. Okay, you akan dapat jawapan X is equal to 0. Okay, 0 meter. Okay, but at t is equal to 0 0.12 seconds, okay, x is equal to 18 cos 10 pi times 0 0.12 seconds. So, x you akan dapat negative 14.6 centimeter. Okay, uh, ni sepatutnya centimeter eh, 0 centimeter. Okay, sebab kita punya... Amplitude tadi kita tak tukar pun dalam meter. So, ini adalah sentimeter. Okay. So, kita dah menjawab soalan. Okay. Uh, nanti ada yang tanya, Madam kenapa pula equation Madam dalam cos? Kan kita belajar equation kita sepatutnya in terms of sign. General equation. Betul. Tetapi berdasarkan soalan ini, kita tahu at t is equal to 0 seconds. The graph start from positive A. So, bila saya sketch graph, saya tahu dah. Graph ini adalah graph cos. Automatically, equation saya, saya tulis in terms of cos. Kalau you kata you nak tulis equation in terms of sign, boleh ke? Boleh. Jom kita cuba. Okay, macam mana kita nak tulis equation? Okay, equation untuk graph ini in terms of sign. Equation. Okay. So, saya dah pernah tunjuk sebelum ni. Okay, untuk example sebelum ni. First step, awak lukis dulu uh, graph original sign. Okay, bila saya kata graph original sign tu maknanya dia mula daripada sini. Kan, kita tahu dia macam tu. Uh, okay, ataupun kat sini lah. Okay. Okay. So, sekarang. Awak nak gerakkan paksi Y ke kanan ataupun ke kiri, mana-mana pun boleh. Tak ada masalah. Okay. So, let's say you try to move the Y axis to the right. Okay. So, kita akan gerak sikit sahaja. Kita gerak to the right by positive pi over 2. Kita gerak sampai sini sahaja. Okay. So, dia punya phase shift dia adalah positive pi over 2. So, awak nampak kat sini eh. Graf kita dah mula daripada sini. Okay. Sama macam graf dekat atas. Therefore, the equation can write in terms of sign. Where x equal to 18 sin 10 pi t plus. So, we have the phase shift. Ha, ini kalau siapa kata dia nak tulis equation uh, equation graf di atas ini dalam bentuk sign. Tak ada masalah. Boleh. Ataupun you kata boleh tak saya nak gerakkan saya punya paksi uh, ini ke kanan. Eh sorry ke kiri. Boleh. Tak ada masalah. So we just move the y axis to the left. Tapi kita perlu gerakkan y axis to the left sejauh 
Okay, 3 pi over 2. Ha, sampai sini. Okay. So, negative 3 pi over 2. Sebab move to the left, so negative. So, nampak dia akan mula daripada atas ini. Okay. So, kalau you gerak sampai sini sahaja, pi over 2. You gerak sampai sini, pi. So, gerak sampai sini, 3 pi over 2. Itu mesti tahu dahulu. Okay. So, equation awak boleh juga kita tulis x equal to 18 sin. Okay. 10 pi t minus 3 pi over 2. Okay. So, kita ada equation. Kita ada dua equation in terms of sign. Mana-mana pun betul. Tapi kenapa saya nak menyusahkan diri saya untuk tulis equation panjang-panjang? Sedangkan bila kita tengok graph ini yang kita dah sketch, this is a graph of cosine graph. So, saya just masukkan saja. Okay. Ha, kalau siapa-siapa yang dia buat equation bawah ni, lepas tu dia cuba kira. What is the displacement at t is equal to 0.05 ataupun 0.12? Ha, cuba kita masukkan nilai. Okay, dekat sini. Awak ambil calculator, awak nak masukkan dekat sini 1 point, sorry 0.12. So, dia akan jadi x equal to 18 sin, okay, uh, 0.12 is 1.2 eh, 1.2 pi, okay, 1.2 pi plus pi over 2. Ha, cuba kira x ni dapat berapa, mesti dapat nilai yang sama. Okay, so bila you tekan calculator, you akan dapat sama kan? So, negative 14.6 cm. Jadi, untuk jawab soalan B2 ini, kan? So, kita dah tahu dah graph ini menunjukkan graph cos. So, saya terus saja tulis equation of displacement in function of time dalam bentuk equation cos. Ha, kalau you kata... Tapi boleh tak kita nak tulis dalam bentuk sin? Boleh, tak ada masalah. Tetapi equation sin awak mesti kena consider phase angle ataupun phase shift. Jadi dalam video sebelum ni, dalam example sebelum ni ataupun dalam video short animations, okay, saya ada tunjukkan bagaimana untuk kita tulis equation with the phase angle V dekat belakang ni ataupun phase shift dia. Okay. Sama juga dengan equation ni. Ha, sebab tu saya kata, you can try to move your y axis to the right or to the left. So, if you move your y axis to the left, so this equation, okay, equation ini dan equation ini, okay, dan equation ini akan menghasilkan satu bentuk graf yang sama iaitu graf ini. Sebab itu kalau dekat dalam equation ni, so you masukkan nilai t 0.12, so you akan dapat 1.2 pi. Minus 3 pi over 2. Percayalah, you akan dapat nilai yang sama iaitu negatif 14.6 cm. So, tak kisahlah you nak guna equation ini, okay, untuk jawab soalan yang kedua ini. Ataupun you nak guna equation yang ini, ataupun you kata uh, you nak guna equation ini. Kalau saya, saya ambil yang cos ini sajalah, senang. Okay, so finish example number 3. So, let's proceed to example number 4.